Hey guys, I thought I'd do a little video on how to make a warm farm. So basically, I went and bought these dish totes for $5 a piece. They're 18 quart dish totes. And you're going to put a hole every two inches all the way on the bottom. And I stack two of them together so when I drill through one, these are going to be my two drain pans. And then, I went and I bought some of these fittings from the hardware store. They're just half inch caps and I wanted the ones with the flat tops and they're um, adapters and I'm going to glue these on here with the hot glue gun on each corner of both of these totes and that's going to be my spacer so that way they get ventilation and then I'm going to drill a couple holes on the side and all your holes are quarter inch and they don't have to be exact, two inch spacing is just somewhat close. And I try to do them on the flatness. And then I went and I bought a rain powell valve, ball valve off of eBay. And basically what it does is it threads into here. And then this is my bottom tote for my drain. And this is reverse threads. And then you just pull this little blue gasket off here. And you put your marking here and then you get you a utility knife and what I'm going to do is very carefully cut that out and I'm going to put this in here put some thread tape on there and the the uh, valve comes with thread tape too and that'll be my bottom drain for my warm tea and these two will be my totes one for food and then they'll have another tote and I'll rotate back and forth and then the extra tote is going to be for my top so that's pretty much how I make my warm farms. They're pretty simple. They work pretty good. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up on I'll uh, do another video later when I get it all together and I get some worms in it. So just kind of give you guys. Oh, and the pricing. So basically it was $21.73 with tax for the totes. So they were $5 a piece plus tax. And then the plumbing fittings were a little expensive. They were $29.38 for the plumbing fittings with tax and it was 1950 for the valve off of eBay and that was with tax and shipping so roughly you're talking 30 40 50 70 bucks for everything you could probably go with a cheaper valve or you could just not even have a valve and just drain your bottom toad out you know just pull it off and drain it out and you can use anything for spacers I just I like these because the other one that I made, I used um, a shop vac hose, an old ho uh, plastic pipe that the shop vac came with, and I cut them off. But these here will attach better because it's got a flat base. I wanted something a little more robust, and that'll give you a proper, proper spacing. But you could use anything for spacing. You could use pieces of PVC pipe or even some sticks if you wanted, or little pieces of brick or rocks or whatever. But that just kind of keeps the totes from sitting down flat and that gives uh, the toad a little more uh, air flow through there so that way the worms can breathe so anyway yeah it's a little expensive but it's not too bad this is what I want to do this is what I want to use the more high quality valve and the better spacers so anyway this is how I'm going to build my worm farm I'll do a video later when I get it all done